Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I think we have a good one for you today. Today we're going to use uh, the Shaving Club Tobacco Oud. You know what I say about Peter Charcalis? Tobacco scents all the time. All right. <laughs> um, the scent on this is really quite nice. Uh, I like it. The other one, which was called Tobacco Nuit or something like that, was also good. Um, this runs uh, about $25.99 or something, but you get two soaps and two aftershaves. So not a bad price for two different scents in tobacco. Both I have liked. So today we'll give this one uh, a run. Also, we are going to be doing our first comparison of the Mergress and the Rockwell 6S, um, starting on setting one on the knob and plate one. Um, for those of you who are not familiar, Rockwell has different plates, and you'll see a number on here, if I can find it for you. Right there, I don't know if you can see that two, which is uh, right here, that would be setting number two. And then if you flip it, it has four, which is setting four. Today we're starting on one, and of course the Mergress has a knob with numbers on it, we'll start on um, setting one on it, and uh, we'll see how they compare. Um, and we'll go through all the settings over the next uh, week or so. I will use the Parker variant because it's coming today, tomorrow, and then we'll get back on track with the uh, comparison. So. We are going to use Melania today. Beautiful Wolf Whiskers brush with uh, Black Wolf Knot. Really, really nice. I have uh, really enjoyed this. And I don't know if you if you guys uh, saw my video yesterday, but I was talking about Busta and how I stopped, uh, I stopped taunting Busta because I said I'm going to drive him into financial ruin because he can't get a Black Wolf. He started buying Simpson badgers like high-end. And uh, at the time, I didn't know that not only did he buy that Duke Special Edition, but he bought a Chubby 3. I believe it was a Chubby 3 Special Edition. So I accurately predicted what's going to happen. Busta is on the road to financial ruin, people, because the Chubby 3, I think Manchurian, is not an affordable brush. So uh, whew, say a prayer for Busta, folks. Say a prayer for Busta. His brush envy is leading them down the path to financial ruin. All right, I think we've got a, a nice load on Melania here. Let's uh, wet the face and then we will get started. Stay tuned. All right, um, people have been asking me about the this knot and it definitely has more backbone than your regular plus soft or plus on knot, but um, as long as you give it a little bit of water, I find that it plays easily, so. More backbone, but not too much, at least for me. Um, I like it a lot. My second use was dramatically better than the first, because the first I was a little on the dry side in terms of water in the brush. And since then I've learned put a, just a little more water in the, uh, in the brush and you'll get this play that you are looking for. Um, and that is the case with synthetics. This tobacco scent here, tobacco oud smells nice. Scent strength about right at medium, I think. About five. All right. We got a nice thick lather there from uh, our soap. Let's clean this up before we get to looking like Busta. I don't have hair that grows all the way down to my <laughs> chest from my face down. Okay, so what we're going to do so we'll split the face in half. I'll start with the Rockwell um, on setting one. Use it on this side. We'll use the Progress or Mergress on the other side. And uh, let's first make sure that I actually have the uh, the Progress on, on its proper setting before we get started. And I do. Okay. So let's get started with our Rockwell. I have never used the Rockwell wet razor, uh, but that feels really nice. Feels very, very nice indeed. It is mild on the one plate. I can feel that already, and that is to be expected. It's the mildest setting. Um, so you would expect it to be mild. 
feels nice. It got some nice heft to it. As I mentioned yesterday, if you mentioned, if you missed, excuse me, the first video in this series, really nice fit and finish on this razor. If you missed that video, I recommend you go back and watch it first before this one because I explain some things. Okay, now let's go Mercur or Mergress, I should say. The difference is the stainless steel knob, and they say uh, uh, an adjustment, and this feels really nice too. Interestingly, it almost feels to me that the Mergress is a slightly more aggressive on setting one. I can feel a little bit more blade on my face, however, it is still mild. All right. That felt, feels uh, very nice. So on setting one, both are very nice. Let me rinse my face. We'll, we'll sort of feel the results when we come back. Stay tuned. All right. So I would say it feels to me like, on at least on setting one, the progress is a little more um, aggressive on setting one than the um, Rockwell. Now, that really doesn't mean anything because we have a lot of settings to get through. But just on setting one, it feels to me that the Mergrass is a little more efficient. Um, but again, please keep in mind, we have five more settings to go on the Rockwell, so it could end up being a lot more efficient as we progress through the plates and settings. So this is a series video. It's not a uh, determine, you know, how they compare in one video. This is going to be a six or seven part video. So I encourage you and invite you to watch them all. And at the end of it, end of the six or seven videos, see how I feel. Each of them performs and um, I think they'll both end up performing nicely because that felt great um, for both races. So again on this side we will use Rockwell 6S on its first plate. Um, for anyone who felt the Rockwell was going to be far too aggressive even on um, the one plate I can tell you that is not a concern. This would be a nice razor with that one plate for folks who even like the mildest of razors. So do not be concerned about it being too aggressive on plate one. Remains to be seen. You know what will happen as we go two through six, but on one, you're gonna be, in my view, entirely safe. And here we go with our progress, or mergress, I should say, on setting one. And um, it, too, I think is pretty safe for just about anybody to use. And you can get this razor without the Mergress um, conversion, by the way. So you don't have to have this done if you don't want to, but I really like it. I like what it does for the balance of the razor. I like what it does for the looks, and I like what it, it just, I find it easier to work with. Okay. Um, that was past two. Let's rinse the face and we'll come back and feel and see how that went. Stay tuned. All right. So, yes. Um, based on what I'm feeling here, definitely a little bit more efficiency on setting one mergress. I can feel that pretty easily. So, you're going to get a milder shave from the Rockwell on setting one. At least, that this is the case with me. So for whatever that's worth. Again, let's evaluate over the course of our seven videos. And we'll see how we feel at the end. Um, I feel like the Rockwell, just in the tail of the tape sort of scenario, when you talk about fit, fit and finish, like I said yesterday, go back and watch the video, Equal packaging went to Rockwell, um, cost went to Rockwell um, as compared to the Margress. Um, so 
uh, convenience, which is something I left out in, in that first video. Convenience goes to the Mergrass because you don't have to keep up the various plates. So I left that out, but I'll mention it today. Convenience would have went in favor of the... Uh, Nice soap here, by the way. This is made by Maria Armin. Um, really good stuff. Convenience mark went to Mergrass. And at the end of our series, we'll go through all of that once again and sort of give you my take on it. Maybe they come out the same. Maybe I like love both of them. Who knows? Okay. Final pass with the Rockwell on plate one. Again, pretty doggone mild. Um, Nothing to be feared at all. Would be safe for anyone to use, even if your preference is really mild. It's not Feather S ASD2 mild, but it's mild on Play 1. And it should be. So, I have been pleased with the balance of this razor and how it hit. It uh, has felt through shave one. I have enjoyed it and look forward to uh, using it throughout this series. And if at the end I like it, I will keep it. And I think I will, but you know, again, that remains to be seen. Need to get some more use on it. I feel the same about this Mergris. I don't like the progress because I don't like that piece of plastic on the end. And uh, I don't like the the weight. It feels a little light for me. At least the short-handled one does. All right, let's rinse the face. We'll come back and do a quick comparison. Stay tuned. All right, so let's feel our face after three passes. And you know, it's interesting. It, they pretty much come out the same. Um, I feel the... The Rockwell is a little bit milder on, um, as compared to the Mergress on plate one and setting one. However, at the end of three passes, it feels like I've ended up in the same place. In pass one and two, I could definitely feel a little more, um, excuse me, a little more stubble on the uh, Rockwell side. But after that third pass, it's been cleaned up nicely on both sides, so... We end up um, coming out pretty much the same at the end of three passes, so that's good. That's very good. All right, um, let us now talk about aftershave, if I can find my aftershave. I just knocked it on the floor. Let me grab it. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. Shaving Shop Club Tobacco Oud. Um, nice scent on this. Whoa, that restrictor <laughs> lets it come out a little quicker than I was expecting. Um, Really nice scent on this soap. Tobacco scent, Charcalis really knows his tobacco scents. I give him a hard time because he's always putting out something with tobacco in it. You remember that time Peter Charcalis put out something without t tobacco? No, me neither. <laughs> All right. Um, really nice scent um, on this aftershave. I like it. Again, I think this is made by Maria Armin from Through the Fire Fine Crap. Through the fire, fine craft. Uh, really nice lady, really nice artisan. All right, so today we had the battle on setting one. Uh, on passes one and two, I thought the mergrass was more efficient. After three passes, it turns out I ended up in the same place, at least from what I can feel. So uh, come out great on both ends. I enjoyed both razors. We will continue this series until we get through all the settings and plates. So uh, continue to watch, and at the end, we'll wrap it up and let you know which we preferred if there is a preference i enjoyed both of these razors again rockwell success mergress from merker um, had a really nice shave with both today so tomorrow we may see the um variant come in for a shave because it it is new and i want to um, try that out but then we'll get right back on um or Rockwell versus uh, Mergress the day after. By the way, feather blades in both of these, okay? So um, it went really, really nicely. I want to thank everybody for watching. Until next time.
Let's make America shave again.